story is about a goat called Nibbly Quibbly. Once upon a time, there lived an old man and an old woman. One day, the old man went to a fair and he bought a goat. He took the goat home and early the next morning told his eldest son to take it out to graze. The youth grazed the goat till evening and then drove it home. He drove it straight to the gate and the old man stood there in his red boots and said, Tell me little goat, tell me, nibbly quibbly, have you had enough to eat and to drink? No, Grandpa, I've not drunk or eaten. As I ran by a tree with a herb and a skip, I whisked off a leaf and nibbled the tip. As I ran by a brook with a skip and a hop, I scooped up some water and had a drop. And that was all that I ate and all that I drank. The old man was very angry with his son for not having looked after the goat properly and turned him out of the house. On the next day, he told his younger son to take the goat out to graze. The youth grazed the goat till evening and then drove it home. He drove the goat straight to the gate and the old man stood there in his red boots and said, Tell me, little goat, tell me, nibbly quibbly, have you had enough to eat and to drink? No, Grandpa, I've not drunk or eaten. As I ran by a tree with a hop and a skip, I whisked off a leaf and nibbled a chip. As I ran by a brook with a skip and a hop, I scooped up the water and had a drop. And that was all I ate and all that I drank. So the old man turned his younger son out of the house too. On the third day, he sent the old woman to graze the goat. The old woman grazed the goat all day and when evening came, she drove it back home. And the old man stood there by the gate in his red boots and said, Tell me, little goat, tell me, nibbly quibbly, have you had enough to eat and to drink? No, Grandpa, I've not drunk or eaten. As I ran by a tree with the hop and a skip, I whisked off a leaf and nibbled the tip. As I ran by a brook with the skip and a hop, I scooped up some water and and had a drop. And that was all I ate and all that I drank. So the old man turned the old woman out of the house too. On the fourth day, he himself went to graze the goat. He grazed it all day long and when evening came, he drove it out onto the road and himself ran on ahead and stood by the gate of the house in his red boots. The old man said, Tell me, tell me, little goat, tell me, nibbly quibbly, have you had enough to eat and to drink? No, Grandpa, I've not drunk or eaten. As I ran by a tree with the hop and skip, I whisked off a leaf and nibbled the tip. As I ran by a brook with the skip and a hop and I scooped up some water and had a drop. And that was all. I ate and all that I drank. The old man was very angry with the goat. He went to a blacksmith and had his knife sharpened and he was about to kill the goat. But the goat tore itself loose and ran off to the forest. It saw a rabbit's hut there, came inside and hid on the stove. 
By and by the rabbit ran in and he saw that there was someone in his hut. Who, who is there in my hut? Who is there? I am Nibbly Quibbly, the goat with the down skin and the coat. To the fair I was, I was brought and for three kopecks bought. I will frighten you off with the bleach. I will stamp, stamp on you with my feet. With my horns, I will pierce you and crush you. With my horns, with my tail, I will brush you. And that will be the end of you. The rabbit was very frightened. He ran out of the hut, sat down under an oak tree and began to cry. By and by, a bear came lumbering up. Why are you crying, Runny Bunny? Ha, <laughs> How can I help it, Grumbly Lumbly? A terrible beast is sitting in my hut. I am going to drive him out. <laughs> Who is sitting in this hut? He called. I am Nibbly Quibbly, the goat. With the down skin and a coat. To the fair I was brought. And for three copets bought. I will frighten you off with the bleat. I will stamp, stamp on you with my feet. With my horns I will pierce you and crush you. With my tail I will brush you. And that will be the end of you. The bear was very frightened and out he ran from the hut. I'm afraid I cannot help you, Runny Bunny. So the rabbit sat down under the oak tree again and he cried and cried. By and by, a wolf came lolloping up. Can I help it, Howly Prowly? A terrible beast is sitting in my hut. Ooh, I'm going to drive him out. I don't believe it. <laughs> I went to the house, but I couldn't drive him out. <laughs> Ooh, well, just see if I don't. and he ran out and then a crayfish came crawling up why are you crying runny bunny how can i help it a terrible beast is sitting in my hut <laughs> uh oh i'm going to drive him out i don't believe it i am the bear and i tried it he did not come out. <laughs> and you little crayfish, you can't do it, I'm sure. Oh, let's see. Who is sitting in that hut? I am Nibbly Quibbly the goat with the down skin and coat. So, to the fair I was brought 
and for three copics what and i will frighten you off with the bleat i will stamp stamp on you with my feet with my horns i will pierce you and crush crush you with my horn with my tail away i will brush you and that will be the end of you but this did not stop the crayfish on and on he crawled and he crawled and he crawled up onto the stove and said by all feared i am and you'll soon know why i snap and you leap i nip and you weep i snap and you leap i nip and you weep and he nipped the goat hard with his claws the goat gave a bleat meh meh down it jumped from the stove and ran and ran as fast as its legs could carry it and little runny bunny was overjoyed he came into the hut and thanked the crayfish over and over again and he lives in his hut to this day as snug as you please good night